I've read the prologue of the new book about Pajama Day, as it's termed. I think that actually encapsulates everything that was wrong with the reporting on the trial. And I wrote mm-hmm. about it on the Huffington Post, actually, Pajama Day in particular, and how mm-hmm. actually on the stand at that time, Gavin was completely incriminating himself. Mm-hmm. And all they were talking about was pajamas in the mm-hmm. newspapers. And uh, how much of that did you witness throughout the trial? And how did that affect you? Well, it affected me a lot because I saw how they were told to say these things and how this kid, he was coached. And he he knew once he got up there that he was to say the most horrible things to enhance their plan. Their whole plan was to try to incriminate, humiliate Michael to send him away. And um, but then they they caught him because when our guy King came up to Mesereau, he would point out the right things. They were so focused on putting Michael away that they they didn't realize that their witnesses were lying, and they would they would just catch themselves in little tales. But the the pajama days stands out a lot in my mind because that's when I went to the hospital and I saw him, and we had to talk and. He just said he's the most misunderstood person in the world. It's, it's just, I mean, he was serious. He was tearing, and I hugged him. And and, and it's, it's like you you see where we come from, and we're no different from any other family, but the success is sort of, it sort of, sort of just overwhelms the, the human person in, in him. He's a human being too. And mm-hmm. that's what I want to get across in this book. The human side of Michael. So much they talk about the legend and this and that, but he's a human being. He's a father who who loved his children, who 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 spent a lot of time with them and wanted I've seen I brought my kids over one time and Prince and Paris were acting up and Michael said, I'm very disappointed in you you all are acting crazy in front of Jafar and your majesty so you're grounded this is what he said I, I mean he was so on them that he wanted them to be good and he did he would not agree today if he was alive then he would not let them be on the internet and all this kind of stuff he mm-hmm. was totally against all that stuff but you know with school you have to go online to do your homework and then you're not to- totally doing homework you're talking to friends yeah. you're tweeting and this that that's this is what's going going on but what can you do it's everywhere are the Twitter accounts real? Is that actually Prince in Paris? Or yes. are they impos- That is actually Prince in Paris? That's them. Okay. Yes. And, and is, is we're it? against it. We had yeah. meetings with my mother uh, about it. She can't con- control it. She's 81 years old. So they they, they, um, they had the computers taken away from them, and, and then they got them back, and they, they say they need them for homework, but they're doing their little thing here, here yeah. and there. They've got friends' houses. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like any other parent. Prince got a girlfriend. Tackling with a, with a teenage kids, right? Because all these videos are appearing on YouTube now of them on uh, webcam and stuff. And yes. At first there was some kind of suggestion that the computer had been hacked. But are they uploading those themselves? or are They're they doing installed? that stuff, yes. Oh. And, and, and we're telling... They don't, it's, it's like one person out, out there got in the confrontation with Paris and, and started calling her father all these kind of names and stuff and I said see this is why you don't need to be on the internet these these people aren't all nice they're waiting to say horrible things and do you think Michael would have wanted them on stage at the tribute concert in Cardiff at the tribute no they're going to be there it says on the internet that Catherine and the children will be there at where the tribute concert in Cardiff this has all happened while we've been away has it yeah this Um, is I'm not sure. I mean, it says yeah. it, they're not listed as performers or anything, but it's just been said on the internet that they will be they will be there. See, Charles, I'll tell you how I feel, and it's and it's. I try so hard to do the right thing, because when you put something out there, you have to live with it, and it's around forever. More so today than other times because of the internet and Twitter and this, this and that. I had a conversation with my mother and I just explained to her 
how this is still not the proper time. And then in the same conversation, she tells me they're rehearsing. Jackie for, and for the show. Oh, the brothers or the kids? The brothers. Oh, the brothers. Okay. They're rehearsing. And then I'm hearing, which is new to me, that 3T is probably taking my place with with Randy and this and this and that. <laughs> he makes me laugh when you look at me. This new information that he... Why, why did I get that? So I'm saying to myself, but the trial... Because see, this is what I don't want. What's, what's going to happen in the trial is, again, humiliate him, say the most horrible things and all this kind of stuff. And I'm happy that we got a chance to write this book that's the only thing I think that's going to fight all mm -hmm. these f crazy things that they're going to say from the trial. That's what we put in the book. And it's, in the time, it couldn't, couldn't have been better. It wasn't a better time to, to do it. But my point is, I know my mother's going to be highly upset when she hears these things about her child. I'm mm -hmm. going to be upset too. But then I'm going to say, but I'm okay because I wrote who he was, who he is, who we are. And this is, if you want to know the real Michael Jackson, read this book. But they don't see how two weeks into the trial to do a show, when the world is focused on getting justice for him, the performers can come later. 